Well now, look at us. What are we? Live. Huh? Simulcasting on all the platforms. Okay? Legit on all the platforms. What's up, everybody? Y'all all right? Good. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend. We are here. Ready to get this party what started. Okay. Let's do it. What's up, Instagram? What's up, peeps? Alright, let's start with probably the easiest cocktail. I think I have some open already. Probably the easiest um cocktail or this flower. We're gonna need that anyway. Um now listen, ain't nothing ready. I cook the same way y'all cook at the house, all right? Don't nothing be ready. We just be out here trusting God, okay? All right, so to start, I'm going to put some sugar into um, the... Now, you could buy simple syrup already made, but they call it simple syrup for a reason, yes? So I can put... Make it simple, all right? I'm going to put sugar and if I get some water. Hold the line when I get some water. Ideally, you just really want equal parts, okay? This is called a simple syrup, okay? That's what this is called. Now, they sell this in the supermarket. They sell this in um, pretty much everywhere. They sell it all over the place. I wouldn't buy it. Okay, tell me why. I mean, let me tell you why I wouldn't buy it. Because you can make it yourself, just like this. Okay, like I just got done doing. Bam, done. Simple syrup, all right? Let's grab um, some ice and a cocktail shaker because you know what time it is. Yes, praise the Lord. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And I'm at an Airbnb. The Bible says, if any man hunger, Let them eat well at home. Huh? Where am I? It's going to be home enough, okay? All right. Yes, brown is not going to make you frown tonight, all right? I bought some ice because I plan on going through. Hold on. Let's make sure we connection is straight for, okay. All right. I think we all right. Oof. That was rough, wasn't it? Devil? Or maybe it was the Lord telling me, all right. Get them saved. Lead them home. And that's it. <laughs> Be like, okay, God, I got you. I got you. Whatever you say. It's your world. Literally, not mine. All right easiest cocktail in the world. So this could be considered, it's just gonna be a lemon drop. You could, you could call it whatever kind of lemon drop you wanna call it. Martini, it don't matter. All right, I got some Cavassier and I have a little bit of whiskey. So it could be a lemon sour if you want it. It don't really matter, okay? So I'm gonna put some fresh squeezed lemon juice in the bottom of this cocktail shaker. It don't even matter what, who squoze it. I'm gonna follow up with a splash or two of sweetened lime juice, just because I like that. Okay, now we need to sweeten this up a little bit because right now it is not sweet. All right, so this is where our simple syrup comes in. All right, and then we need a couple shots. I have some Tennessee honey whiskey, a shot of that. Right to the rim, and then I'm gonna top off my drink with a little of the Cabassier. Okay. Now, you put the lid on, busy. All right. Today, not so much. Okay. A 
good 30 seconds is all you need, majority of the time. All right, and then we can pour, pour, pour. Save room for, oh, by the way, tonight we're featuring the Darius Cook's wine glass. We have both Regal and Royal. This is the Royal wine glass. All right, and if you already have it, if you want it, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. All right, splash of Cavassier. Makes the world go hey. And then now, we bow our heads and we say grace. Grace. Wasn't I finessing people? Yes. Scam everybody, child. From sea to shining sea. We still ain't seen one victim come forward, but that's all right. I'm a scam. Let me scam in peace, TikTok. TikTok says, so wait, why you not in jail? <laughs> I scammed the jail system. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to cook? I'm ready to eat. Huh? Y'all ready to cook? You was just asking. No, you wasn't. Don't backpedal it, pussy pop now. Stick, stick with it. You, you wanted to accuse me of being a scam without any proof. Stick with it. Don't backpedal and pussy pop now, TikTok. Stick with it. You said what you said. Stay in it. All right? Oh, That's what we do around here. All right? We say what we mean, and we mean what we say. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. All right, so let me tell you what else I'm going to handle. The rest of this cocktail, definitely going to handle that. Hold on one second. Let me see these comments on TikTok, okay? Hold, let me see these comments on TikTok. Somebody say, I swear, after all this time, I still want to marry this man. Lord Jesus. 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 <laughs> right. Tell them. They're going to stop coming. For Hold on, y'all. One second. I'm on TikTok. Talking to the TikTokers. They're going to stop. They can come for me. It don't matter. All I'm going to say before I cut this bacon up is TikTok, don't backpedal and don't pussy pop. Stay in it. You feel me? If you feel like you want to call me a scammer, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm still going to be here. All right. Now let's go. I got some bacon. All right, get you some good bacon. This came from, um, it's award-winning, hams, bacon, and sausage. I don't know what award they won. Maybe it was the People's Cho the Pig's Choice Award. That's what it was. They won the Pig's Choice Award down to the farm. Get you a couple slices, you don't need that much. Said nobody ever. Okay? I'm. Jesus Christ. It's a tough one. All right? You didn't want to come out. I take it you were very comfortable by yourself. Okay? So we're going to cut the bacon into pieces. If you Muslim, you can use your beef bacon for this. All right? I'm going to let you do that. This go around. Okay? So I'm going to get my little self together and get all my little kind of like mise en place kind of ready to go, okay? 
So I've got some bacon. Let me get a bowl to put this in. Hold on, hold the line. I'm sorry. I didn't do am bitter welcome address. At this point, at this moment in the service, we are asking all visitors to please stand. All right, we are asking all visitors to please stand. I said stand, not walk away. <laughs> at this time, I would like to take a moment to welcome you to our live stream. I am so glad you are here. This is not by coincidence. This is by divine providence that you are sitting here with us tonight in community as we cook on Beyonce's internet. I really do hope that something is said tonight or done that really encourages your heart, okay? It is my sincerest desire that you leave here better than you came, huh? Now, at this time, while you're still standing, our impact agents are coming down the aisle. They're going to hand you an information card. We ask that you take that information card and fill it out. And when you go around for offering, you can put the information card in the offering basket. Also, please come see us in the East Vestibule when service is over. And please come and get your free gift from us to you. We welcome you once. We welcome you twice. We welcome you three times in the name of bacon and rice. You may be seated. Y'all, make sure y'all welcome, all right? Make sure you say hello and greet the person to your left. Just churchy. All right, a couple of pieces of bacon right in here. Oh, let me get these potatoes on real fast. I don't forgot about these. Okay, let me tell you what I'm gonna do with the potatoes real fast. Sweet potato, these are big ones, all right? Don't do nothing with these. So what I'm gonna do with these real fast is I am going to, ooh, is this hot? Yes, this is hot, hold on. I was preheating my pressure cooker on the side. Y'all can't really see it, but that's all right. All right, I'm gonna steam these. These ain't gonna take but 10 minutes to steam, all right? These are my potatoes. I got a little water already in here. So I'm gonna take my potatoes and put my potatoes in here. If you don't have water, and listen, you can do this with any instant pressure cooker. Now the best one on the market is the Darius Cooks pressure cooker, which you can get today by going to shopdariuscooks.com. Hello, thank you very much. And we got a book coming out called Apply Pressure, but with soul. But you can do this with any pressure cooker. Either put you some water in here or you can put a little bit of water, like a cup of water, and then put you a ring of aluminum foil on the bottom, put your potatoes on top, and then go and pressure them so they can get tender, all right? Fork tender, yes? All right, I did that, you can't see it, you can kinda see it, just use your sanctified imagination, all right? And we're gonna let these go about 10 minutes, okay? About 10 minutes in my Darius Cooks um, pressure cooker. Hold the line, y'all. Here I come. Uh, which one? That's okay. Cool. Let me make sure I got my lid on. I got it on close. That's open. That's closed. All right. I'm good. All right, because I kind of want to do double duty. Like while that's working out, I really want to go ahead and um make sure they get done. Okay. So we're gonna start with bacon, okay? To my bacon, I've got some onion, okay? Now this is a purple onion or sometimes they call it a red onion, okay? That's what they call it. Sometimes it be a purple onion or sometimes it be a red onion. It was on sale, that's the kind of onion I use, okay? You look over there and you say, okay, please tell me what is on sale. Thank you very much. That is the onion we are going to use, okay? The onion, that's on sale. Chop it up. Mm. 
like that, okay? That is called chopped onion. Three quarters-ish of a cup. If you happen to go over a little more, who cares? It's okay. What else is okay is Tennessee, all right? I don't know what other state do good, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Tennessee is all right with me. <laughs> huh? A little shot of Cavassier. And now we have us a lemon, I'm going to call it a lemon drop style one. Because it can't, you really can't call it no martini. And I got Cavassier and whiskey in here, so you really, that's what it's going to be. A lemon drop style one. Deal with it. And if I was you, if I were you, I would go out there and give me a drink too. This is called a bell pepper. We are going to slice and then dice some bell pepper, okay? Whatever we finna make, it's finna be good. And I'm gonna tell you one thing about black people. Shout out to everybody who not black who watching me. Hola, como estas? Aloha, how you say hello in um, French? Bonjour, konnichiwa. Uh, that's about it, I ain't got no more on me, all right? Shout out to everybody who not black. What I wanna tell you is that anytime a black person start a recipe, cause you probably didn't know this, okay? But anytime a black person Start a recipe with onion, bell pepper, celery, garlic, and bacon. Which is fit to be amazing. Okay? Anytime somebody start, it's fit to be amazing. Now let me tell you what I was doing. I was allowing, because I was taking my break. I'm on tour. Shout out to everybody who came to Dinah with Darius Cooks. I love y'all. Love you, love you, love you a long time. So I'm on tour, right? And I was in Little Rock, Arkansas this morning. And now I'm back in Atlanta for the time being. Okay? Now. I was letting the other people, because there's so many new people out here that cook online, right? All these amazing people, One Stop Chop, Dave, um, Cord in the Kitchen, Cordarius, uh, Kimmy's Creations, all these amazing newcomers on the scene that do amazing work, okay? I don't follow everybody because, you know, I'm still doing my own thing. <laughs> what did Lil Richard say? Have y'all seen the Lil Richard interview? <laughs> Lil Richard say, that's called doing your own thing, okay? If you ever get time, look up that Lil Richard interview. Just Google it till you find it. Um, so I'm doing my own thing. I was letting everybody else shine because there's so many people out here doing great work. But I feel like since the pandemic has kind of died down a little bit, I didn't say over. I said a little bit. They kind of, you know, oh, cooking with greens. I love them. They, they stay consistent, okay? But I haven't seen, like, Aisha and stuff like that. Carmen go live 94 times a day. We love her, don't we? If she go live one more time, I'm going to unfollow her. I told her that already. <laughs> but what was happening was... I felt like they just wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't come in through. So I said, you know what? Let me go and bust up the scene real fast, okay? Olive oil. 
a couple of turns in the pan, yes? All right, and you can't see this, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you. This is onion, bell pepper, celery, and bacon. Whatever we fin to make, got to be amazing because it starts with onion, bell pepper, celery, and bacon, all right? I'm gonna put that into the pan and I wanna put it into a dry pan. I'm doing two things at one time, or not a dry pan, but a cold pan and let it heat up. So I'm doing two things at one time. I'm sauteing down my onion, bell pepper, celery, and I'm rendering out the fat in the bacon, right? Because that's gonna lend an amazing flavor to what we have going on, okay? So, so far, so good. You can do this. Onion, bell pepper, celery, and bacon. We ain't did nothing that spectacular yet, okay? Very, 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 very simple. Let's get some garlic, because that's what this needs, okay? It's a little piece of This is my own, I'm only drinking one drink tonight. That's it. Until it's gone. Then I'll drink another one. All right, so what we're going to do, one taste it. Here. My boy Frank. He does this thing when he tastes something. Is it strong? It's not that strong. No, it's not. Good. Why you taking another sip if it's so strong? <laughs> Why you taking another sip if it's so strong? It's too strong for you? No, it's not. You can handle this. Lightweight. I went to the farmer's market and got this garlic already peeled because one thing I'm not going to be doing Huh? It's sitting up here trying to peel no garlic. No, no God. And it come already peeled like this? This is the best thing since sliced bread, bread. The best thing. Since what? Bread's been sliced, all right? Okay. Uh, hold on, I have my thing locked. Let's go. Okay, that's locked. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Let's smash the garlic first, like that, and then we're gonna chop it up, okay? Smash, smash, all right, and then, let's do a little chopation. Somebody get on your nerve? Chop some garlic. Somebody piss you off? <laughs> People like mentioning your name so they can get their likes and their views up even though you don't mention them. Chop some garlic. People watch your every move trying to make up a narrative about you that's not true. Chop some garlic. People call Fox 5 to do an investigation and then come to find out, ain't no results nowhere. Chop some garlic. Do two things. Wait, first you chop some garlic, okay? And then secondly, after you get done chopping some garlic, <laughs> cut some out, okay? Life is too short. Cuss these people out, okay? This is my onion, bell pepper, celery, and my um, bacon, okay? Doing the great things in the pan, okay? I'm gonna add. <laughs> Can we meet the boyfriend? No. You cannot meet the boyfriend. Actually, I did a video on our last date night. He's on there. But I have to keep him to myself because... Haters. I have a lot of haters. A lot of haters. I don't know. But I got a lot of love, too. No shade. For real. I was in a farmer's market, and this straight dude 
very, very straight, masculine dude walked up to me and was like, bro, you that dude that cook. Yo, I fucks with you. That's what he said to me. Okay? And the other lady was like, I'm not going to fan out, but I watch everything you do. I love you. I said, thank you. I love you more. I looked at her basket and was like, what you cooking? Because she had good stuff in her stuff. Her basket was like amazing. Okay? She had some good stuff in her bag. I love when I see y'all in the grocery store. I be looking, seeing what y'all buying. <laughs> One, if the pan dry, we're gonna put a little more oil help it out. The girl said um, on Facebook. <laughs> on Facebook, she gonna say, "I want you to know one thing. This is our macaroni and cheese recipe." Sis, I want you to let the Lord use you in whatever way Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. Oh, there you go. I got one out. In whatever way you see fit, I want you to let the Lord use you. Okay? She said, no. I want you to know one thing. This is our recipe. I said, all right, sis. That's what it is then, okay? Got dog itch. It's our recipe. Okay, all I'm doing is sauteing down my onion, bacon, garlic, and, um, and uh, celery. And I got to tell you something. This little bit of situation right here, smells amazing in the house, okay? Just a little saute, that's it. Now, in this bowl, I got some pork chops, okay? And I'm gonna tell you one thing about Tennessee whiskey. It cut across the yard on you, bro. It don't take that long to Give you where you got to go. Hmm. Okay. All right. We got some pork chops. Now, I don't know what done happened. Y'all done got your master's degree. You done got your doctorate degree. You done got your certification. All right. Your project management stuff. You got your six figure job. And you don't forgot where the hell you came from. I don't know what's going on. All right. And why the people is not eating pork chops no more. But we finna smother some. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me stir my stuff up. Can y'all hear this? Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> huh? Look at that. This is my Darius Cook skillet too. Don't worry, it's coming back in stock soon. I'm gonna let you know as soon as it get here. I need y'all to buy all of them. Okay? I got a house to buy in Orlando. All right. I got the prettiest pork chops ever. Look at these. These are center cut pork chops with. The bone. Why is it with the bone? Because it's gonna be juicy, tender, and yet delicious. Okay? Pork chop with the bone. I only need but four of them. Let me wash my hands. Hold on, y'all. Okay, hold on. We gotta tend to this right here for a second. Okay, because if we don't, we're going to burn it. And let me tell you where there is no God. In something burnt. Okay, no God. So give this a stir. And as soon as my bacon is like halfway done and my vegetables are beautiful, and fragrant and translucent, I'm gonna add in some rice. Now, you probably should measure this. 
I'm just letting you know. If you're going to do this, you should measure your rice out. The um, ratio. Okay. It's two to one. Two parts liquid. One part rice. I said that wrong. One to two. One part rice. <laughs> one part rice to two part liquid. Okay, hey Pam, my friend Pam on here, Pam from Coils by Nature, Coils with a K. She make all natural hair and skincare products. Go to coilsbynaturewithak.com. She got stuff for men and women, and I use Tranquil Virility every day. I went to her warehouse about a month ago. I said, I need three containers. She wouldn't even charge me. She said, take them. I said, pay them. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put my rice in here. Okay. I don't, this is about, it's too late. I don't pour too much. I don't know how much is in there. But remember what I just told you. One to two. One part rice, two part liquid. I ain't got but a tanks left, don't I? I'm going to put a tanks in here. That's it. That's the whole thing right there. And so the idea here, okay, is to allow the rice to, not. it's a million ways to make rice. Oh, Pam, I love you too, sis. Is my code still active? Darius Cooks. Y'all go to Coils by Nature with a K. See if you can buy something and use the code Darius Cooks at checkout. See if it works. You might get a discount. If not, she can activate it real fast. Mm. Okay, so I'm using, <laughs> I might be a little tipsy. I'm using um, basmati rice. That's an Indian rice. Because they know what they're doing in India, bro. Economy ain't shit. But technology and food is amazing. Okay, so I put my basmati rice in here. And what I want to do is I want to just stir this up. See, look at this. Because I want to make sure that my rice has contact time with the bacon fat, the onion, and the bell pepper. Okay. You are, but we still love you. I love you too, TikTok. Regardless of what they say. This is what I'm going to say. This. Let me say this. Sure. <laughs> you, Jerome got a little cough on him. Okay? So you want to excuse yourself for a little cough. Let me say this. Why would they wait until I have seven figures in a bank account to call me a scammer? Why wouldn't you call me a scammer in 2015 and 16 and 17? I got the money now. How am a scammer now? I got the money. I should have been a scammer back then. Okay. Look. Frozen um, black eyed peas. Now, in the words of Oprah, if y'all haven't seen this video, it's a gag. Oprah says, <laughs> Oprah said, when I make Stedman black eyed peas and cornbread, it's on. You like black eyed peas? Eh. It wouldn't be on if I made black eyed peas? And cornbread? Huh? If I wanted to? If I made it? Oh, he said if I made it. That's what Oprah said. Oprah said, when she made black eyed peas for Stedman, Oprah said, it's over. Ain't nothing left to it but to do it. You get an orgasm. You get an orgasm. You get an orgasm. That's what Oprah said. 
Okay? I didn't say that. Oprah said that. Frozen black eyed peas, y'all. Okay? Now look at my rice. You want to toast your rice in that bacon fat. That's why we started off with a dry pan. Okay? So you can toast your rice. What that does is that gets rid of the starch. Okay? Pam said, Darius Cooks, automatic checkout, save 25%. 25%. I'm going on and place my order. Y'all go to Coils by Nature with a K. Coils by Nature. Use the code Darius Cooks at checkout. I'm going to tell you what I use. She got this one product called Tranquil Virility. It's a body butter, but I use it on my beard. You can do it while your beard is still wet. It smells like baby powder. It's amazing. Okay? So go to Coils by Nature with a K. Buy something. Black-owned, minority-owned, women-owned business. Use the code Darius Cooks at checkout. And save twenty five percent. Okay, I'm gonna put my black eyed peas in here. Not all of these black eyed peas, but some of them. What we making? Hoppin' John. Okay. <laughs> that was a hop. Okay. Now we're gonna stir in our black eyed peas. With the rice, the bacon, the onion, the bell pepper, and the celery. Okay? Now we should talk about the seasoning. Because remember, up to this point, what have we done? We have not seasoned a thing. I tried to let all the new people, the little young people come in here and cook, but they don't give it to you like I give it to you. Mm -mm. I scam you and give you entertainment at the same time. Child, Randy Travis from Fox 5. If you look at Randy Travis stuff, Randy Travis ain't got no views on none of his stuff. He got like four comments, three solar panels in Atlanta, two comments, right? Darius Cooks serves sangria, 4,000 comments. The moment. I am... The moment. I gotta get some seasonings. Hold the line. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. All right, let's talk about seasonings. Use whatever you got. <laughs> As I pull out a gazillion seasonings, okay? Use whatever you got, okay? This is the rice. It's definitely ready for, see, it's toasted. It's a beautiful amber color. So we're going to add a little pinch of red pepper flakes. I 
personally feel like Red Pepper Flakes gives it a little bit of personality, all right? I got a little bit of Herbs de Provence or Italian seasoning. I get so much flack because one has lavender, one does not. The shits taste exactly the same. You could, bl I could blindfold you and be like, oh my God, try this. And you're going to be like, you know what? I can't even tell which one is which. I know you can't, but you're doing all that talking in them comments. And then when I call you out, you got something to say. You see what I'm saying? You can't tell ambit from ambit. All right. Okay. What I put in here? A lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about it. Come on. Let's talk about what I put in here. Child, I don't even know what I put in here. Okay? This is chicken bouillon. This is onion powder. This is a little bit of ooh, dried fennel, a little granulated garlic, a little dried sage, a little herbs de Provence, and a little bit of Red pepper flake. Okay. Seasonings. Down. Because your food not going to taste good unless you season it. Okay. Because y'all don't know about seasoning like I know about seasoning. Now we gotta put some water in this. You could use regular stock, and that'll be good too. But I already put in chicken bouillon, so I ain't do that. Hold on, I got a text. Okay, let me get some water, y'all. Hold on one second. Now, remember what I told you, two to one, two part liquid, one part rice. There's only one problem. I never measured out my rice. So I don't know how much rice is in there. So I'm going to eyeball it. Wait, this is my lazy eye. I'm going to eyeball it with this eye, okay, so I can make sure I put the right amount in here. Okay, so I put the water in there. No, I am not drunk and this rice is not burnt. Why do y'all think that? Now, what is my name? Darius Cooks. You followed me because I know how to cook. Even when I'm drunk. Right, tell him. Uh, girl, what is your name? Q U. I-O-A, Q-O-I. She said, you can leave too. I love it when y'all get smart in the comments with people. Like, um, sis, you can leave. You ain't got to be here. Okay, Pam, I got a message. It says, I reached out to your friend Pam about possibly helping her with her beer products. I sent her an email, but hadn't heard anything back. If you could please let her know I'm interested in beard modeling for her. Okay, Jamal, I will send her. A, well, she on here. That's my real friend in real life. Like, I know her in real life. Like, some people I don't know in real life, but Pamela Booker and her husband I know in real life. I'm not high. I'm not drunk. Drunk is a state of mind. Quit playing with me. Y'all playing with me. Okay, okay. I put my water in here, so it's going to mix this around. Come on, we got to make our pork chops. Y'all playing, okay? Now look, these are my pork chops, okay? Center cut 
with the bone on, okay? Let me give these a wash, a rinse. Whatever the Lord told you to do with these pork chops, you do them, all right? If you want to put bleach on here, you put bleach. If you want to put lime on here, you put lime. I do realize that everybody watches me from all parts of this world, every corner, okay? I'm going to run me a little water on here. That's it, all right? But you can do whatever it is that you want, okay? Meanwhile, I'm going to get my oil together. Okay? Let me tell you one thing I don't know about. What you come to do. I'm going to tell you what I come to do. Fry a pork chop in a cast iron skillet. It'll change your whole life. Okay? Frying a pork chop in a cast iron skillet, I'm telling you, will change your entire... There is something about this cast iron. I don't really know what it is. But I feel like when God himself created the pig, mm-hmm, he did so with the fried pork chop in mind. There is nothing in this world like a fried pork chop and we gonna smother it. Smother a pork chop? Let's do it. Now, I was in, where I was? Little Rock, Arkansas, this past week and I was supposed to go to K, K somebody. What is K? What is she? K Hall. That's what she is. It's a K and a Hall. Never heard of it before. I was supposed to go. I didn't have time. All right. I was there for work. So if you know the people at K Hall, you let them know. When I come back to Little Rock, Arkansas, I am going to stop. I'm not drunk. Quit saying that. Ah, uh -uh. I don't even like weed. <laughs> weed don't bother me. <laughs> I, I was supposed to go to K Hall, but I ain't had no time to go to K Hall. So when I come back to Little Rock, I'm going to go to K Hall. This is vegetable oil. Why am I using vegetable oil? This is what they had on sale at Publix. All right, I'm gonna put me a little thin layer of vegetable oil down to my pot, my cast iron skillet. Y'all can't see, me. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit so y'all can see me fry my stuff, okay? After I season them up, let me season these up first, okay? After I season them, I'm gonna switch the camera over a little bit so that way you'll be able to see what's going on because right now you really can't see so hold the line while I rinse these off. All right, I got them rinsed. Let's talk about seasoning, not this. Here I am, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do to put on our pork chops is we need a little piece of salt, all right? This is salt from Portugal, okay? If you listen real close, it speak Portuguese to you. Now, I don't know what Portuguese sound like, but I imagine it sound like what I'm listening to. Oh, that's my pressure cooker. <laughs> what is that? Okay, that's a little piece of kosher, a little piece of Portugal salt. 
Okay, just that much. Okay, now to that, I got a little piece of chili powder. Okay, that much. Just a little bump. I shouldn't say bump. <laughs> there might be some recovering alcoholics over here or people in Narcotics Anonymous. Okay, a little piece of black pepper. All right, and then let's grab some of this. All right, because we got a lot of stuff we got to work out. Okay, this is a little piece of Herbs de Provence. Or Italian seasoning. Again, y'all get on my nerve talking about all Darius. It's not the same. Bullshit. It's the same thing. I don't get. And you know those few people on TikTok that be. Hold on one second. Hold the line. Hey, Facebook friends. Hey, Facebook fan page. Hey, Instagram. Hey, YouTube. Hold on one second. It's you people on um, TikTok. Y'all asses always got something to say. Always. Okay? You always got something to say about what I be doing. I be going over there looking at your profile. You got two followers. I got 1.4 million. All right. I got a little piece of... I want to use that. What's this? This is um granulated garlic. Okay, we're gonna run a little piece of that on here. Okay, and this is ground fennel. I don't care. Yes, I put ground fennel in everything because it's delicious. And a little piece of onion powder that's left over. A little piece of that. Okay, that's it. Let me take my seasonings to the side for one second. This how many seasonings you need to cook. If you're not using this many seasonings, you're not really cooking. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Let me switch these burners around. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to cause a whole problem over here. Let me stir up my rice. Because my rice is doing really beautifully. All right. This is that rice. So it's going to become Hoppin' John. Okay. Now, Hoppin' John is rice cooked with black eyed peas. I like them both. And I love a black eyed pea that's been cooked with smoked turkey. Till it cooked down like a gravy. And then you pour that over the rice. Telling. Now this, you gotta use some buttermilk from somebody's farm. And this came from the French, look at God, the Friendship Dairies Church of God in Christ. I call you friend. Okay? I am a friend of God. I call you friend. Okay? A little bit of buttermilk in here goes what? A long way. Okay, so you can put a little piece of buttermilk in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to act like we down to the spa and we're going to massage. I don't know why y'all let me drink that cocktail and cut up like this, okay? I don't know. But we here now. Look at this. See that seasoning? Oh, let me put some Cajun on here. Hold on one second. I got Cajun seasoning too. You could use a salted one, but I have a non-salted Cajun seasoning I like to use on this. And then the paprika and herbs, but whatever. It's going to add us a little flavor that we need to our stuff. Hold the line while I, I don't even get to find it. It's right here in my face. Okay, this is a little piece of paprika. I mean, Cajun, <laughs> Cajun season. Okay, that's gonna do us real good. Okay, now we can get in here and I like we have the spa and give this a massage. Okay, and when you really get it good, you see how that seasoning is all up and through there? 
You find Darius, please continue. Susie, I love you. Okay, that's my friend, y'all, Susie Sue. She comes every year to dine with Darius Cooks and she brings her mother with her every year. Her mother is a little old thing. Okay, just FYI, I love it when y'all bring y'all mothers to dine with Darius Cooks. I think that is outstanding. And I am here for it, okay? I love it. Okay, flower all purpose. I don't know who you people are that sift your flower. My grandma never sifted her flower, but that's all right. If you wanna sift, let the Lord use you, okay? So we're gonna get the flour all over the pork chop real good. And let me see if my oil is hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. My grease is hot. Now you can use whatever grease is on sale. Peanut oil. Um, come close to the phone. Come here. Come here. Come close to the phone. It's some people out there that believe in using avocado and grapeseed oil to fry their stuff in. Don't you do that. You're gonna burn your whole goddamn house down. Vegetable, canola, peanut oil, something like that, corn oil. That's about it. If you use any more than that, you gotta call your insurance company. Don't listen to these people out here telling you use avocado oil. You're going to fuck your house up. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more flour just to make sure I got all my flour in good. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to shake off the excess and run these in the grease. Hold on one second, y'all. Oh, yes. I'm going to run these down to the grease. Okay. <laughs> this should never gave me live stream. Oh, Instagram. You have 90 seconds. It's going to cut off. I'm going to add you back. Okay, so don't go nowhere, Instagram. It is 1,056 of y'all watching, okay? Let me, you got 90 seconds. Hold on, hold the line. Okay, I'm going to end the live stream on Instagram and start the live stream back because they only give me an hour on Instagram, okay? How long I've been cooking? How long I've been eating? God damn it, my whole life. Okay, Instagram, hold on. Here I come, okay? Hold on one second. Hold on, y'all. I got to put Instagram back on. Because Instagram, I like Instagram. Live start. There we go. Let me clean my hand a little bit. Okay, Instagram, y'all back. Okay, y'all back. Okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna do now. So let me do a little quick recap on where we are. Let me catch everybody up. We used to say on tick on um on um what was that app? Clubhouse. Let's reset the room. Okay. We're gonna start by making another cocktail. Now we're gonna start by doing that. You want one, babe? You do? Okay. Yeah, you might as well. What else you doing? You can do nothing else but watch it. Okay, making cocktails for us. Glasses, those are important. Okay.
appetizer. Let's make a drink. Jerome said it was too strong. No such thing. Ice goes in. I had a very long day. Okay? Deal with it. Okay, ice is in. Uh, we're going to add a little piece of fresh squeezed lemon juice from somebody's farm. I mean, it don't matter who squirrels it. <laughs> I'm not drunk. Liquor don't bother me. This is sweet lime juice. All right, a little piece of um, simple syrup and some whiskey. A little piece of that. Not that much. A couple shots. Okay. Same thing with the Cavassier. Ow. Ow. This is vegan, by the way. Okay? This is vegan, gluten free, healthy. <laughs> A drunk ain't shit, is he? <laughs> A drunk ain't shit. Give this a mix. All right, and then this one is mine. Oh, Lord. This one is mine. And this one is Jerome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is it too strong for you? You want me to take it back? Right, exactly. I said, it's too strong for you. He said, yeah. You want me to take it back? He said, no. Okay, exactly. Because, I mean, if you're going to drink, you got to all get less strength. Okay, let's talk about these pork chops for a little bit. Okay? They over here cooking up a storm. Okay, I'm gonna flip them. Oh, let me get a, a pair of tongs. I don't have a pair of tongs, but let me tell you what I do have. A fork, because grandma didn't have no tongs either, okay? Okay, so I got my fork. And let me see if I can do this. Ah, so y'all can see, all right. Pork chops are here. I'm gonna use my fork and just give these bad boys a flip. All right, now these are gonna get smothered, so I'm not really concerned about cooking these all the way, all the way through. That's too strong for you? Oh, I'll drink it, don't worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna flip these over and let them get brown on the second side a little bit, okay? Now, meanwhile, before we get to our vegetables, let's talk about this rice, okay? Here is our beautiful, lovely Hop and John, all right? This is the basmati rice with the bacon, the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, okay? Look at that. It looks good already. It's not done. I'm going to put it on the stove just like I cook regular rice. Let all the liquid continue to cook out. Put a lid on, back of the stove, 10 minutes, perfect every single time. If you just came in the room, praise the Lord. My pressure cooker is done. And over there I got some potatoes, sweet potatoes, that we're going to work out in a second. And this is a lemon drop sour with cavassier and whiskey.
huh? Let me tell you. You could say a whole lot of stuff about me. And y'all do. But one thing you can't say is I don't know how to cook. All right? Okay, let's cut these vegetables. So we can get these vegetables working. Where's the lie? Shout out to Twitter. Hey, Twitter. It's like 10 people on Twitter that hate my entire guts. And they swear up and down. I have a, um, a burner profile. Shout out to Twitter. Hi, Twitter. I know you're watching. How are you doing? Okay, those are bell pepper. This is onion, okay? So grandma will always put a little piece of onion and bell pepper down to her gravy, okay? And the Bible is true. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Paul wrote that. All right, thin slice on your onion. There you go, okay? Let's also do a little bit of celery. One rib is plenty. Okay, look, my rice is all done, okay? So let me get a lid. Y'all hold the line one second. Now, much like you do at home, this is not the lid that came with this skillet, but this is the lid I'm finna use. I put a lid on, once the liquid cooks out, back of the stove, leave it alone. Okay, don't touch it. Take you a sip of your drink. Okay. Oh, wait, we got trolls on Instagram. Hold on, I can fix that. I can fix that. Somebody said on Insta on TikTok, no, you don't, you do not like women and you got mama issues. Girl, shut up. Okay? Okay, hold on. Let me let me um let me go private on Instagram. Done. Trolls be gone. Okay. Rib of celery. Alright. Little chop on that. Thinly sliced. Huh. Okay, into the bowl. Now, let's do a few things to work on our gravy. Okay, if you don't know how to make gravy, here is your opportunity to learn. Okay, now I'm gonna take the pork chops out of the grease. Okay? Are my pork chops cooked all the way through? No. Okay? But I'm going to take them out of my oil and set them on this plate. All right? I am then going to remove majority of the oil and I'm gonna leave in here about a tablespoon 
tablespoon and a half of um, of oil along with the drippings. That's called fond. F-O-N-D. What are we? Fond of fond. Okay. All right. In here is a little tinge of oil. Onion, bell pepper, celery into that skillet, okay? Because we want to start working on our um, gravy, okay? And notice what I didn't do. I never got rid of this. This is the bowl I used with the flour. Because I'm going to use some of this flour to thicken up the gravy. All right. All right. Let me see if I can turn my camera a little bit. I'm going to see if I can turn all the cameras because the stove is right here to my immediate left. Okay. So let me see if I can turn the cameras a little bit so that you guys could probably see what's happening on the stove. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but let me see if I can try to make it happen for you, okay? All right, I'm going to see if I can try to make it happen for you. All right, it's kind of there, it's kind of not. You're going to have to deal with it, okay? Let me move my bowl of fruit. Okay, I think y'all can see this, okay? Look at what I got. I got my onion, bell pepper, celery, doing great things. I just want to add a little piece of salt to this because what is salt going to do? It's going to help sweat out, okay? It's going to help release the juices, and it's going to be really good. Not that much, just a little pinch, okay? Onion, bell pepper, celery. Smells good already. In a cast iron skillet. All right. I'm going to add, I need some garlic in this because garlic makes everything taste better. All right. So I'm going to give you a couple cloves of garlic. Y'all really can't see no more except for Instagram because I'm going to move all the cameras around. Sorry. All right. It's just garlic, though. You done seen me slice up garlic before plenty of times. All right. Okay. Little slice on the garlic. All right. That's one clove. Two cloves and three cloves of garlic. All right, all sliced, either sliced or chopped. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Okay, wait, hold on, I missed the pan. Hold on. All right, there you go. All right, let's throw in. So my pan looks a little dry to me. All right, so I'm gonna put in a little bit more oil. And then I'm going to add in that flour. Not the clumps of flour. Not the clumps of flour. <laughs> but we're going to add in a little bit of the flour. All right. And then I'm going to stir this around. So the idea here is to get the flour all incorporated real beautifully with everything that's going on. Let me add a little more flour, hold on. All right, that looks good to me. That looks great to me. So 
There is one golden rule I want you guys to remember, all right? The darker the roux, the deeper the flavor, okay? So this is the time to give this all the stir in the world so that it gets to a consistency that we like, all right? So we're not gonna burn it, but I want you to get that really beautifully golden, not even golden brown, like a dark brown. I got my water ready, okay? So we just stir, stir, stir. And if you want, we can start to season this now so that it has all the flavor that we love and all the flavor that we need, all right? So let's start with some uh, chicken bouillon. Now here's the key. The key to this really is Half chicken, half beef bouillon. But all I got is, oh no, I got some beef, I think. Hold the line, let me see. Hold on, y'all. I got some. So here's the key. The key is half chicken. Stir it up good so it don't burn. Don't want that to happen. Okay, half chicken. And then I'll put a little beef. I'm going to put a half of this in here. This is a little beef bouillon cube. Okay, this is a little something I'll teach you. It'll, it'll step your game all the way up when it comes to making gravy. All right. Half, my grandma used to do this half beef half chicken, all right? That's it. You gotta stir, let that go. Okay? Now, a little piece of ground fennel, and a little piece of garlic powder, okay? Keep this moving, because you don't want this to burn, okay? Every gravy needs a lot of black pepper. Okay, so I got my black pepper right here. All right, and then I put in garlic powder, black pepper. I'm gonna put in a little piece of onion powder as well. I put my ground fennel in, and then I like a little piece of pepper flake in mine just cause, you know, a little piece of heat, that's what I like, but hey. Jesus, Darius, Lord have mercy. You didn't even see that. Nope, you didn't see that. Oh. <coughs> uh -uh. You didn't see that, okay. All right, a little water. And we stir, all right, more water. And what do we have? <laughs> You didn't see that. Y'all ain't seen nothing, okay? What do we have? Gravy. Just that simple, all right? Y'all be making gravy seem like it's such a hard task. I'm going to put these pork chops right back into this gravy, okay? And I'm going to put this onto... Y'all ain't seen nothing, okay? You ain't seen nothing. Didn't happen. Just a little, a little spill down. That's it. The devil, you know, he be, he be busy. Mm -hmm. But that's what a broom is for, okay? So I'm going to put this in just like this. And if you want to, you get your little piece of spoon, right? And you spoon you some of your gravy right on top of your pork chop. Like that. And see, this is the reason why I wasn't too concerned about cooking my pork chops all the way through, okay? And that's because I knew I was gonna smother them in gravy. 
and whatever my fry didn't get done, this was going to work out, okay? All right, let me turn y'all back this way. Hold the line. Let me get y'all back over here. Okay, everybody back over here. Praise God. Amen. No, that's not good. Hold on. That's good. That's good. There we go. All right. Now we got some action, okay? The devil be busy, y'all. I know that already. Quit playing with me. Okay? This is now on a low simmer. And that's it, all right? I have... I have my um, pork chops are ready. Well, they're about to be ready. My um, beautiful Hoppin' John. Let me show you this, all right? What I mean by my Hoppin' John. So all I did was cut the heat off and let it sit until it was ready. About 10 minutes is all you need, okay? Okay, now watch this. Hold on, let me fix y'all YouTube. YouTube, y'all look over in the corner a little bit. Okay, watch this. What? What? Hello? Look at that. What you talking about? Mushy rice. What is that? What you talking about? Rice not looking good, huh? Mmm, oh, it's delicious. What are you talking about? Look at that. Okay. I wasted a little bit. Don't worry about that. But look at this. Oh, let me fix you TikTok. Okay. Y'all see that? Beautiful, perfect, every single time. Okay. Every grain is separate. All right. Hopping John. It hops, okay? Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Boy. All right. Let's talk about these sweet potatoes after I clean my mess up. Hold on, y'all. All right. So, in the pressure cooker, I have pressured. Two potatoes. I think I pressured them enough. Let me see. Oh, yeah. They are definitely pressured, ready to go. So this is good. Let me show you what we have. Potatoes are pressured. And I'm using my um, Darius Cook's pressure cooker to pressure them. Okay. And we always talk about, typically, you want to cook your potatoes until they are fork tender. What is fork tender? This. I can't even pick it up. So the fork comes in like this, okay? All right, this was 10 minutes in my Darius Cook's pressure cooker. It's all it took to pressure these potatoes. And I can't even get them out because they're so pressured. And I love doing it on a pressure cooker because what will happen is that all of the flavor, yeah, I can't even get it out. Oh, let me get a spoon. Wow. All of the flavor stays in the potato, okay, which is great. All right, now let's talk about what we're about. By the way, all these recipes are in stories from my grandmother's kitchen, okay? I'm going to use the same pot that we just got done using. 
and I'm gonna be brave enough to put all the meat of the sweet potatoes back into the pot without the skin, okay? All the meat of the potato back in the pot without the skin. 10 minutes, y'all, is all it takes, and that's hot, okay? 10 minutes is all it takes for my potatoes. Okay, hold on. Get the skin off. They're hot. If y'all really be wondering, like, I wonder is he really cooking? Yes. Okay? He really is cooking for real. Okay, I'm putting all my potato meat back in here. Okay, it's hot. That's why I'm working like this. All right, I'm getting rid of the skin. Woo! That is hot. Okay, now I can throw all of this away. Okay, this is my garbage right here. So I can throw all my potato skins in the trash. All right. And now let's talk about what we're about to do to make these whipped potatoes. Now, if you're wondering about these recipes, I think, oh no, I know the smothered pork chop recipe it's definitely in um, stories from my grandmother's kitchen. The whipped sweet potatoes are also in stories. Ah, thank you. Okay. So... The whipped sweets are in stories on page 111. All right, so this is stories from my grandmother's kitchen. If you want to get it, you go to shopdariuscooks.com. You can get the electronic version instantly or we'll mail you a physical copy. I promise you I won't scam you, okay, unless you want to be scammed. But um, this is in stories from my grandmother's kitchen page page 111 all right and so many of you already have the book which i am super duper grateful for so thank you for that all right let's talk about these potatoes that we're about to hook up okay so 10 minutes and i have steamed sweet potatoes I'm gonna give them a really quick like stir and that basically mashes up the potato, okay? Now, to the potato, I wanna add a few things, okay? The first thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of butter because I've never met one sweet potato. That couldn't use a little butter. Thank you. <laughs> In the words of Oprah, thank you. All right, so potato gets butter. Just put you a little bit of butter in there because you see the thing is with these potatoes, you don't really need that much butter. So I want you just to put a little bit of butter into your sweet potato. little pinch of salt. <laughs> All right. One of my favorite ingredients in the world. Um, is Jesus. 
Lord have mercy, Jesus. I guess I've been juicing so much that I got too strong for my own good, Lord. Jesus, I guess I got too strong for my own good. I've been juicing so much. We all right. Jesus. All right, Mars Capone. What would we be if nothing went wrong? Okay, how would we do if nothing went wrong? It's like every time I cook live, the devil be so busy. It be something goes wrong. The refrigerator. What's that one time I was on here and the um the pressure cooker blew up. Then one time I was on here and um I dropped the brownies. Man, listen. Oh, a little piece of heavy cream. A little sprinkle, all right? Heavy cream from somebody's farm. That's all you need, that's it, all right? That's the whole, oh, we need some sugar. A little tanch. I think that's what we need. What I said, page 111? Let me just make sure I got it all right. Hold on, because you know me. I've been I made up something in a minute, all right? Talking about some. It's in the recipe. Okay, sweet potatoes, butter, heavy cream, sugar, and kosher salt. Page 111. Stories from my grandmother's kitchen, shopdariuscooks.com, okay? All right, we give this a mix. And this is now our whipped sweet potatoes with kosher salt, kosher salt, all right? I don't know about you, but it's time to eat. Somebody said, what is mascarpone? The closest thing to Jesus? <laughs> the closest thing to Jesus is mascarpone. What kind of question is that? What is mascarpone? What? Okay. All right, I'm gonna take some of my whipped sweet potatoes with salt and put them right here on the side, like this here, see? Bam, sweet potato, done. This, I don't like candy yams. Candy yams and me are not friends, but these I can eat all day long, twice on Sunday, okay? All right, let's work on my Hoppin' John. All right, my Hoppin' John is ready. All right, so this was the bacon, the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, the garlic, all right, all whipped up real good with the black eyed peas. All right, and then why don't we talk real fast about the smothered pork chops, okay, that have been smothering away in all this delicious gravy situation this whole time, okay? With the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, the garlic, half chicken, half beef bouillon, all right? This thing is righteous, all right? And we have cooked the, um, we have cooked the pork chops to begin with. That way, they continue cooking in the gravy. So we put some of that on, and then we just put a little gravy. I'm gonna put a little gravy on my rice. I'm not gonna be like stingy like the Jamaican restaurant when we be asking for some of the oxtail gravy on our rice. 
I'm not going to be stingy. I'm going to go and put some on there. Okay? And then I have my cocktail that was too strong for Jerome, but just right for me. Okay? We made it. Huh? We made it. Did we make it? Oh, we made it. We made it through. All right. I have Hop and John, smothered pork chops, and whipped sweet potatoes with salt. Now we come to a part of the service. Everybody can play a part. At this time, we are asking everyone to please stand. My text message is going off. Oh, Crystal said, tap me in. Somebody need to be blocked on Instagram? Hold on. Which one is Instagram, child? It's got to be this one. Crystal said, 19 minutes ago, tap her in. Shit. I got to see a comment from her first. Did she comment? I'm finna go now. I'll, you got a comment, Crystal. So I can see your comment, because I don't see an AM comment from you. Oh, she said bye, ho. Okay, hold on. Add is moderated. Okay. Everybody standing up? All right, bow your head and say grace. Grace. All right, let's eat. Let me taste the Hoppin' John with the um, gravy first to see what it tastes like. I don't know, like, it might not be good. Let me see. The bitch is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that is delicious. I taste the smokiness from the bacon. The seasonings are all playing together really well. Hold on, it's hot. Mmm, mmm, yeah, that's good. And see, I like frozen black eyed peas because they always a little firm on you. You know? They're a little firm on you. They don't be that tough. They be firm and they be a little bite to them. I like that. Mm hmm. It's about these potatoes with the with the sugar and the butter. Let me see. Mm, mm, mm. Baby, that's all right with me. Now, that's a potato I can eat. I'll eat that. I'm no problem with that, doc. I'll eat that. All right, smothered pork chops. Look at that. I'm going camera to camera. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Huh? Let me see. I'm not sure. Let me see again.
Baby, let me tell you something. Yeah, baby. Okay? Huh, you want a bite? Here, take one. One for YouTube. One for TikTok. One for Instagram. One for my Facebook fan page. And one for my Facebook friends. Listen, recipes like this, you know where to find them. On my website, DariusCooks.tv, soon to be the Darius Cooks Plus app. Get ready. It's on the way. Darius Cooks Plus app. The people on Twitter could never. All right? I want to tell you two things. As I always do. Food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, tomorrow. I want to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. This was amazing. Stories from my grandmother's kitchen. Go grab it today. Shopdariuscooks.com. Bye, y'all.